update us for the morning as we're here together now on Friday. And this is the 12th of July, 2024. Now, before I go on to anything, I am going to be gone next week, taking my usual summer uh, week or so of vacation. We'll be back the week after. I can't tell you if it's going to be Monday or Tuesday yet. I haven't booked the return flight, but it'll be a week from now. Uh, taking off time during the Republican convention. Don't need the noise of it. It'll occupy TV for a few days. As you know, we saw last night an hour-long interview with President uh, Biden trying to convince people he still has what it takes. Uh, he made a couple of slip-ups, but uh, I think he did okay on that interview. And, you know, now the question is, does the party get behind him or not? There are 17 Democrats that have now shown between the Senate and the House that uh, they don't think he's the right guy. Donors are backing off. We will see if he's able to get through this or not. Going to be very, very important. You know, and uh, it's a shame that we're all focused on that rather than the world events, but it, it's important. And, uh, you know, at, at 81, you're looking at, is it, how's it going to be four years from now? And that is what you're saying. And uh, again, I am of the belief that there should be an age limit and a term limit on everybody in politics. Everybody. Okay. Um, when we look at the markets today, you can see you got a mixed bag. But again, the Russell is the stellar performer, as is the Japanese yen which has soared again to 64.17. So that market came alive. As I pointed out last night, I think there was intervention yesterday, and I think there's a little bit of it this morning. So it wouldn't surprise me if we've got that. Bonds and notes are fairly stable, and the question is why? Well, let's take a look at some data, and then we'll come back to the boards. The uh, June PPI came out, and it's double what was expected. So we did not get a trifecta in the month of June. We had weaker CPI, we had weaker labor, but you can't call this week. You're up two tenths, the expected up a tenth. X food and energy, it was up four tenths, triple what was actually four times what was expected, but three tenths of a percent more. Personal consumption did go up two tenths, and they revised the May final demand from down two tenths to actually unchanged. We're going to get the University of Michigan preliminary July consumer sentiment indices at 9 o'clock, and they are looking for that at 68.5 compared to the June figure of 68.2. And for grain traders, we're going to get the WASDE report, supply demand, at 11 o'clock today. All eyes will be on world supply, I think, more than they are in the U.S. at this point. Still got our crops in the ground, but uh, I'm, I'm hearing already from farmers that the yields look like they could be even better in corn. In other words, that's good. It's early for soybeans to know what's going on. That's putting the pressure on the corn market. Wheat is down today, nine cents. Beans are pretty much unchanged. I think given a good rally in cotton, the traders will jump on that market. You're still getting good demand out of the uh, energy complex here, and you're far away in WTI from where the uh, Biden administration wanted to pay $79.50 a barrel for 4.6 barrels or so of oil. They're not going to get that. Not, a, not what I can see right now. I'll be surprised. Uh, the gold down, the silver down as well. Copper coming back up a little bit. Now in China, their third plenium begins. So this is a five-year meeting that occurs, and they're trying to figure out what to do and how to get money into local governments. Remember, local governments counted on real estate and that the bottom has fallen out of real estate in China for a couple of years now. So what do they do? Well, they're probably going to have to play with VAT taxes a little bit and probably how much the government gets on consumption taxes. Maybe the government has to give more to local governments than it was keeping for itself. That I, I can see the central government having to do that. Um, we'll see. They also can play games as they move taxes up the ladder chain a little bit more towards the consumer, but that consumer's got a tight wallet. He doesn't want to pay much more. Dollar index down another 22 points, so it certainly looks like the dollar near that 106, 107 zone has probably made a peak in the market at this point in time, uh, maybe a permanent top, if you will, and the market might uh, actually begin the weakening process against number of currencies, as we're seeing in the end, where it, it's really come alive. It's gone up rather dramatically in the past 48 hours. You're closing in on the 130 level that Goldman Sachs had picked as its target two days ago over a two-week period. For all purposes, you're there. 
Want to remind you again, while I'm gone, take advantage of the free offerings that we have. You get them by going to irapstein.com, and once you're there, go to the free offers. You click on the blue line when you're on the page, and you can see what they look like. That puts it into a basket for you. And you've got maybe 15 items or so to choose from at least, and we, we add to them during the year. But as you're doing that, at the very bottom of the page, you then scroll down, put in your name, your email address, and we'll get everything out to you. You can also click, I'll put an icon up here on the video for you. So again, I won't be here next week. If I do appear, it won't be me on camera. I'll try to do a short excerpt and put it up in the morning for you if I do it. It's vacation time. I want to enjoy a vacation. You have yourself a great one. I will catch up with you for sure the week after. Have a good day.